Hello and welcome again to another prediction show of the hobo and your picture here. And ladies, could be your picture up there. Or if I'm really, really lucky on Friday, it could be Candace LeRae's picture up there. Reminds me, I have to print up a picture of her. But I figured I was doing a little bit of work on my computer. Today was my three job day. This works on over. And we need to go El Loco. El Loco Taco. I have Taco Supreme. Taco Supremo Junior. That's for Cinco. That's for Cinco Mania. That's in about two weeks. Yeah, about a week. A week from Sunday. Yeah, ten days. That's about right. I'm not here for self-promotion, though. I'm here to talk about some Impact Wrestling. Which is something I have not done in a long time. Because I kind of lost track. With Impact tapings. And then being on... Velocity? Network? Or something like that? I'm right now from... what. <laughs> Very little research I've done. And you can tell us that the time of the month, all my other wrestling shirts except for this one, because I'm wearing this one tomorrow to NXT. I'll talk about that later, though. Um, always wear your wrestling t-shirts for wrestling events. I guess even if it's a NXT shirt talking about Impact, I guess. I wonder if I should talk. Oh, that's okay. It's an okay shirt. It's a good shirt. It's my DIY shirt. I'm sure Candice LeRae would appreciate that. Um, let's talk about some Impact Rebellion. Ooh, such a strong world. Word, I would give that three out of four, I guess. Well, I have no idea. No idea if I'm even going to qualify for my third job yet. Let's see here. This card is always subject to change because this is Impact. And they haven't, well, I know they killed off Allie. The TV tapings, which just seems a shame. So Allie's going to be going to AEW. And I know she's going to have a match up in Jacksonville. And I have to get... Eventually. Hour and three quarters left. So that's good. At least I'll get a decent pile of money. But again, enough about my financial woes. Um, Dr. Tom does not like coming out late at night. You can tell I have to put the light on. It's kind of dark outside. And I have some news a little bit. Oh, I don't know what shirt I should have worn. Next time. I don't even... Is it still in the dryer? My parents hide it? I don't know. Focus, hobo, focus! Let's talk about the first match, or what probably should be the first match. Tessa Blanchard versus Gail Kim. Hmm. So I also saw three qualifiers, and this is going to be one of them. I think Tessa Blanchard... Oh, is Tessa Blanchard moving on? Who is it? Um, horse one. Oh, it is Tully Blanchard. I know someone is going to NXT. And this is Impact. You know what? I'm going to choose Gail Kim. And this is going to be my, my snooze nap. My snooze match. I can tell it's late. I can't even write snooze right. I have Gail Kim going over. Or is it Ellering's daughter that's going to NXT? I don't know. Tessa Blanchard. She, uh, Gail Kim wins. Doesn't matter. I'm going to cook through this match. Start getting my booze ready for the rest of the night. For some reason, at my other job, they gave me five days off. Wait. That's 
five days without pay. Boo! But I have my other job at least. And hopefully if I qualify for this one, I should probably say active. So again, let's see here. Did I get that run war right? Almost. I suck at this one part. I do see. I thought so. I do see patterns. See if this pattern holds true. If it does, I'd be shocked. Oh, it does not hold true. Did I get it wrong again, though? All right. It's going to be a tricky. It's tricky enough to rock around, to rock around, to rock on time. It's tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. I should probably never sing when I have this computer on. Run DMC is probably going to sue me for not even copyright violation. It's going to sue me for bad singing. But then we have Rich Swan versus Sammy Callahan. I have no idea what's going to either. Shoot. I know so little bit about Impact Wrestling. This is for the X Division title. I forget who the champion is, too. I'm going to say... Rich Swan. I know there was something with him at the OVE compound. He probably got beat up. If I applied WWE, man. What's going to be my match of the night, though? Because I don't even have a Stone Cold Lock. Well, maybe. Yeah. So Rich Swan wins. He goes over Sammy Callahan. I know this for sure. The tech, for the tag team match, a full metal mayhem match. I'm going to say this only because I think they're. Oh, wait a second. I've had a premonition. Yes. It's wonderful! Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix are going to go over to AEW. At least they have their one match. Pack. I don't think Impact's going to let them carry those titles. I'm going to say, and eh, eh, to that. It was Pentagon Jr. And, and Phoenix, the Lucha Brothers, versus LAX. Oh, they say four knowledge is. I'm going to say LAX, but this is going to be my match of the night. Oh, the night. Then you have Ty Valkyrie versus Jordan Grace. I'm sure Jordan Grace is a very competent person. I'm going to say Ty Valkyrie. And then Johnny Impact. I like Johnny Mundo better. Versus Brian Cage. Johnny Impact goes over. And then the rare thing. There's only five matches. That we know of. So I'm going to say there is. A mystery unlisted match. Well, I have no idea who it's going to be. <laughs> this is how much little I know about Impact Rebellion. The fact that there's going to be some mystery unlisted match is going to be my stone cold lock of the night. Oh boy, that's terrible. So again, this is Impact Rebellion, and because I only have my one job and I can go to the gym and still actually do ooh, I can actually do stuff too that, that day. It's pretty cool. You have a new manager coming, so they get 
store manager gets all the hours. He is sitting. All the hours go to you. New boss lady. She watches my show. She watches my show. She's gonna buy, she's gonna hear about corporate Tom. And all you sons of bitches have to get back to work. You're all bums. And if you're a bum, I'm going to make sure that you're fired. Um. So with that, that's Impact Rebellion. No idea. Almost a coin flip. What I do know, you can see this guy, Hobo Tom. This... Friday, probably about 6.30, 7 o'clock. I still have to buy my ticket because it's just so much cheaper to get my ticket at the venue now. It's only 11 bucks. I think Ticketmaster charges you like 15 bucks. Ridiculous. And of course, I sit in the hobo section, so that's okay. Um, you'll see this guy again. Hobo Tom. At the Multicultural Center. Here in Daytona Beach for NXT. Wait a second, I need my NXT prop. NXT. NXT. There we go. And then also, sometime in June, it's finally arrived. We have the Southern Pro Lucha Libre coming, I think, to Ormond Beach or Daytona Beach. Or kind of right along that border somewhere. And that's going to involve some luchadors. And this is wild speculation. I think Sexy Star might be there. I think. Don't quote me. I could be wrong. I could probably be getting... Ooh, wait. That's probably not so good. I have no idea who's going to be there, folks. So the only thing is, goes on, this guy will be there. Um, and then, so then next week, so probably Saturday, Saturday night. Ooh, I could actually get work. <laughs> this is rough stuff. Well, I need the money is good. Um, so Saturday night, you're going to see this guy's reactions. Along with some taped footage from NXT here in Daytona Beach. Hopefully something exceedingly good happens. Yes, the seven deities provide. Yes. And I will not be deleted. Nor will I be obsolete. But I'll be A-OK. -okay. So that'll go up Saturday. Sunday, whenever the show starts, I'll put up the post date and a notification later. Ooh, shoot, I still have to make the wrestling card. I have to do that tomorrow, too. I could do that tonight. Ooh, I could do that tonight after dinner. So, Sunday is going to be my Impact Rebellion RRNR show, which means I will not be showing stuff. And if I did show stuff, it's going to be hyper grainy and really small, really cruddy looking, because I don't want to get copyrighted again. You just wanted to clean yourself in front of anyone, didn't you? That's, that's what my cat thinks about Impact Wrestling. He just cleans herself. He licks her butt. And then, so Monday will be my typical Monday Night Raw. Tuesday... Is Tuesday SmackDown. And then Sunday, there's going to be a bonus episode. Because Sunday's, or, yeah, uh, not this Sunday, but next Sunday is Cinco de Mayo. We have a guest person. We're going to, I'm going to f find that, that, that dirty Mexican, Latin, Puerto Rican, Cuban guy. El Vagabundo. Dos Hobo Cuatro. Or whatever he calls them. El Vagabundo Dos Cuatro Tom. I have no idea about what name he goes under. All I know is that he wears 
a mask is really bag over his head. Again, he wants to keep his identity secret. And that'll be for Cinco Mayo! Or Cinco Mania! On Cinco de Mayo. That's right. Wow, I'm just getting I'm, I'm getting sleep deprived, I guess. Oh, again, that's what my cat thinks about Impact Wrestling. She just heads back into the back into the darkness! Yeah! Hello, everyone. Thank you. And I'll see everyone Sunday. Again, watch my videos. Especially on Saturday night, Sunday morning. Bye.